light. In today's video, guys, I've got something different for you. Grab CAD challenge of the week. We are going to talk about this <coughs> exciting ongoing competition where if you are a Sparks user and you're skilled at it, you can earn yourself a good chunk of change in cash prizes from these competitions. We're going to go over the entries, the, the design requirements, all that good stuff, what the prize money is. But before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more SolidWorks related videos. Join my Patreon. I'm going to be posting the hottest SolidWorks job opportunities, SolidWorks part files, and full length exclusive content about SolidWorks on my Patreon. I'm going to include in the link uh, of this uh, description on the video a link to the free guide for making money with SolidWorks as well. So let's get started. So here on GrabCAD, we have the NASA challenge, Moon Movers, which this deadline has already passed. There's been <coughs> 104 entries. The requirements will go over the background, what you have to submit in your SOLIDWORKS designs. And let's just get straight to the point, guys. I'm not lying when they said they're handing out prizes. First place gets 3,500 US dollars, second place 1,000, third place 500. So you do the math, depending on how many hours it takes you to submit a design, that's quite a good chunk of money that you can earn. Let's go ahead and just go over the background. So uh, summary, NASA is seeking innovative design concepts for the Artemis program to deliver pressurized logistics to the moon. Logistics are housed within pressurized containers, guys. So the whole <coughs> competition is gonna be based on the design of these containers thermally conditioned, receiving power resources. They've got to be heavy duty, rugged for outer space environment, etc. So they give you certain requirements that you have to meet in your SolidWorks design. Dry goods consisting of food, clothing, crew, operational supplies will be stowed. So the first dimensions they give you are the these uh, cargo bag dimensions, which will go inside the containers. The criteria for evaluation will include examination of the durability, quantity, size, and dimension of the containers, along with power needs versus how long the carrier can maintain temperature range, ease of offloading. So this is a good, this ending paragraph is a good summary of what they're looking for in rating your design in SOLIDWORKS. They give you a summary of what they're looking for, and then they give you organized requirements from the actual judges, proposal quality, clear definition of delivery and container concept. So they want a well-organized report, problem statement, operational environment, presentation, concept of operations, submission details, how the carrier is launched, blah, blah, blah. Technical credibility, submission documents, ground rules, and okay. So you can have backup calculations, run some simulations to include in your report to submit survivability details, all keeping in mind the temperature range, gravity, weight, etc. The competitor shall deliver a report in PDF word format, include dimensions, renders, pictures, etc. Expected resources needs, deliver any CAD or animations. So let's look at the entries we've got. You can like each entry. We'll look at the top liked entries to see what some people have come up with in their container designs. This one looks like a cool 
actual container with a chassis on it. It's got some wheels on it. This is awesome. So this is a badass design. He's got the hatch in the back. He's got this tower thing, I assume, for solar or some type of power um, unit. He's got highly insulated for temperature. Very nicely done. The chassis underneath with the rover style wheels. He's got a whole suspension under here. This is really good stuff. He's got the step files if you're curious and downloading them. The concept, oh wow. So these posts kind of extend out to anchor the container. He's got a whole insulated interior where the goods are stored. Not sure what this is, but looks like they are separators of organizing and indexing whatever is inside. This is a clear one of the top ones for me. Let's look at another. Here is another very well done design, guys, for the container by Carlos. He's got a capsule style design with the container in the center. Several sleeves around it. And a seal cap. Not sure where the hatch is. Back cover. Pressurized. This is another view of it. Supporting toolbox. Very well thought out. This is how it would mobilize and interface with the rover. Very cool design. He specs out the different materials. He's got it scaled up to show the size. Just included step files as well and PNG files. Single rocket with crew supplies with mine minerals. Okay. And for our last entry, we've got the pill bug concept where it can kind of roll up in a compact size with the containers in this cylindrical housing. You can see the concept here. Really badass. Really well thought out design. You've got your containers here for the bags. Super, super cool design. I guess those are the individual pods for storage. Wow, you can see the level of detail. I wonder what he designed this in. Very, very cool concept. SolidWorks 2017. There you go, boys. All right. Very, very good renders. Incredible section views. Highly recommend checking this design out and getting the files. This seems like a winner to me. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, give this a like, share with your friends. Don't forget about these monthly GrabCAD challenges. It's a great way to earn money with your SolidWorks skills. All you got to do is submit a design and be selected to be one of the top three winners for some prize money. I'm going to include a link in the description to your free guide on how to make money with SolidWorks. Check out my Patreon as always. We'll see you next time.